So I've got my clay. First of all, centre the clay. That's it centred. So the next thing to do is to go down and make your hole and then open it out. And you'll notice that when I work on the clay, my hands are always touching each other. Even if it's not for any kind of uh, support purpose, because they're working together with the clay. Now once you've opened the base, you've got your wheel going around quite fast. Now this is when you slow the wheel down because you want to get your hands like a crab and you just rest them on the opposite side to where you are and you literally just change the direction of the clay and just squeeze that clay in between your fingers and you, you collar it up. So now the clay is in a really controllable state to make that cylinder because you're working with centrifugal force, so everything you put on the wheel wants to come off it. But because you've got that cone shape, you're far more in control of the form of the clay. Then you go in with your knuckle on your right hand, and with your fingers on the, on the inside, on your left hand, you literally just squeeze the clay, and up you come. Then I'm just gonna take my wooden template and just take off that slurry at the bottom. Put a nice little groove in there. I'm now going to form the cylinder with the, the, the flat side of the wooden template and my hand, my left hand on the inside. You're always looking at the horizon of the pot. Now the horizon of the pot is this side here. So you literally just look at one single point, which is the horizon, and you just press the clay onto your wooden template. Always pretend or imagine the pot's slightly bigger because I don't know how many times I see it when people are learning to throw. They'll get up to the top and they'll go, oh, that's great, and they go like that. And you, you end up with a kick. So you just keep that control and you just keep that sense of pressure and you just take off that pressure really evenly and really slowly. And there's your cylinder.